a fresh way of hearing. So we yeah, hear it, yeah. A fresh way of speaking, so, so we can speak by right, right? Yes. No, God and right. order our steps. Yes. Because yes. none of it will happen if you do not order our steps. Help we us. ask this Help in your us. sweet son's holy name, Thank Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I turn this over now to oh, Pastor. Right. Oh. He wants me to be daring. Fair. So as I am going to dare to press forward. Okay. Let us sing the now. The, 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 the Sweet hour of prayer. God's provincial care. 
Yeah. I will lead with the light portion. Please respond with the darkened portion, and we will recite together the last stanzas. Okay. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy, my habitation. Thou shalt no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. Yeah. Yeah. I will be with him yeah. in trouble. Yes. I will deliver yes. him, yes. says the Lord, and honor him. Yes. With all my God, I will tell him, him and show him my salvation. salvation. Amen. 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 You may now be seated. Okay. At this time, let us proceed forward with an invitation to the choir to come forth with a song of praise. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The church say amen. 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 The church say amen again. Amen. amen. One more time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. amen. God is ah. good. Hallelujah. Hey. And he's Thank not you. good some of the time. Yes, no. Thank you. He is good all, all the time. All the time. Listen, I know that there are times where life seems to bring us down. Uh -huh. One of my favorite R&B groups called the New Edition, mm -hmm. which comprises <laughs> four young brothers from the projects of Boston. That's so, right, that's right. Uh -huh. Had a song out. Yes, sir. The name of that song was can you stand the rain? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that is a apropos question for the Christian. God is saying to the Christian, can we stand the rain? Well, amen. In other words, can we let our light shine yes, sir. in the rain? Yes. And when you let your light shine in the rain, yes. it produces a rainbow. Come on, right. And that rainbow reminds us that God is faithful yes. to yes. his promises. Yes. That's right. And he said that he would never leave us hey. nor save us. Thank you. And you stand. Can you stand? I need to preach. Can you stand? Sister, sister, mother, hold on. Yeah. Just a while, little while longer. Hold on. And everything's going to be all right. Hey, okay. Just hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Yeah. Tina, hold on. Oh, yeah. Just a yeah. little while longer. Yeah. Hold on. Everything. Yeah. We all are going to be I feel that. To my sisters and brothers, who make up membership of one of the greatest churches this world has ever seen, the Tabernacle Cosmopolitan Baptist Church. We greet you with a hearty good morning and amen. 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 Good to see you all. It's good to see you all dressed in your right minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody woke up this morning and they weren't in their right mind. Then somebody did not wake up this morning. But their tongue was cleaved to the roof of their mouth. God was good to us. Yes, he is. Gave us strength in our bodies to come to church. Yes, you all in the land of internet, YouTube, Facebook. We greet you with the honorable Arabic greeting of Haslam Lakum, which simply means peace be unto you. The honorable Hebraic greeting of Shalom, which simply means peace. That's right. And the Christian New Testament reading of grace and peace be unto you from our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Christ is all. <coughs> He's all. Hallelujah. And I'm glad to be in the service <laughs> one more time. Yes. One more time. One more time. It's good to see Sister Merle. Hey, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sister Merle hey, is in the house. Hey, and, hey, and we still have her listed as sick and shut in. Yeah. But God is so good, he brought her here this morning. Hey, Amen. And we don't have any sick and shut in. Amen. Hey, Sister Merle is here. Amen. Hey, I talked to Sister Merle this morning. She said, Pastor, it was a little bit rough. 
made it. Hey, I made it. Somehow I made it. It was a little bit rough. Mm -hmm. But I made it. That, that, that should be our final testimony. Amen. Amen. Life was a little bit rough, Lord. Right. Yes. But thanks be to God, the help of sisters and brothers, we made it. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. We made it. Praise the Thank Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This time, we're going to call on our church clerk. Sister Deacon Miss Debbie Burst. Amen. Bring the rest of our announcements. Mm. And I will come back with some concerns. Blessings. Let's give her some encouragement. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning, Reverend Hall. Good morning. Good morning, Reverend Smith. Good morning, Saints. Good morning. What a mighty God we see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And now our announcements for Sunday, February 12th. The um, coronavirus, wear your mask, practice social distancing, six feet distance at all times. Thank you. Revival, Friday, February 24th at 7 p.m. Our guest, Liberty Baptist Church, brought up PA. Special call meeting is February 26th after morning worship. Pastor Zachary's fifth pastoral anniversary is March 25th at 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. Comfort Inn, Penn Hills, PA, cost 12 years and older is $50. 11 and under is $25. Payment plan can be arranged now. See Deaconess Ware. Deadline for pastors at Saints is February 27th. Happy birthday to the February Saints. Pastor Zachary, our pastor, is the fourth. Amen. Um, Sister Stewart, Barbara Stewart, is the sixth. And Siobhan Bruno is the seventh. And as the pastor has already stated, we have no sick folks on the sick show. Amen. 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 One last announcement, Saints. Celebration. You're invited. Join us for community gathering to celebrate and share the progress of the One North Side Initiative. Free event, dinner included. Families um, welcome. Free parking at Gold Lot 1A. When? Tuesday, February 21st, 5.30 to 6 p.m. M. Registration and dinner, and then at 6 p.m. is a brief program. Where? Um, Art Crusier Stadium. I never could say this new stadium. Enter Site B on Art Rooney Avenue. That's here on the north side, 15212. Reservation is required by February 13th. That concludes all that I have said. Thank you. Amen. I'd like to add something to what Sister Debbie just said. Uh, the fourth was her pastor's birthday. So uh, when we go out for our offerings, we're going to de dedicate the benevolence basket to our pastor. We all love him, so it would be appreciated if we all show him some love. Amen. 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 And with that said, we have the February birthdays. Can we sing? to our February birthday pass. Will you stand for that? Oh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you stand. Amen. All together now. Happy, Happy birthday.
sung to me, it reminds me of the faithfulness of Hallelujah. God. Come on yes. now. Amen. God has been faithful to me yes, for 52 years. Yes. Yes. Good. Amen. And the least that I do is to try uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. to give a good attempt right. to be faithful to him. Amen. 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 And in being faithful to him, try to be faithful to you all. Amen. Yeah. That's right. uh -huh. And not just you all, mm -hmm. but the entire family that makes up the people of this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, those of you who might not know, the church calendars have been in the back on this uh, table back here with the flowers. They've been back there for two weeks. I forgot to announce it. Amen. The, the, the calendars are back there. Now, it's not the actual calendar. It's a list of special dates for the church. Amen. A list of special dates. It's back there. Um, for your taking. Amen. Uh, listen, uh, each Friday, starting at last Friday this month, we're going to have what we're calling Fresh Fire Fridays, where we will celebrate our God for what he has done for Tabernacle these past five years I've been here. Amen. And uh, each Friday we'll have a different church fellowshipping with us. Um, on the last Friday of the month, February 24th, Liberty Baptist Church of Bradley, Pennsylvania, March 3rd, first Friday in March, Calvary Baptist Church of the Hill, the second Friday in March, Holiday Memorial AME of Bradley, Pennsylvania, the third Friday of the month, Pentecostal Temple, Church of God in Christ, Pittsburgh, PA, um, then that, uh, that, that following, uh, Saturday will be the banquet where our preacher will be Reverend Lamont Higginbottom of uh, Erie, PA. And then that Sunday we'll, we'll, we'll be in fellowship with the Morning Star Baptist Church of Vanderbilt, PA. Our homie, uh, our dear friend, our loved sister, and our loved brother, uh, Pastor April, and Brother Lamont Bell. Amen. You'll be our guest. Your church will be coming with him. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. God is greatly to be praised. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a special call meeting. We need to repeat this over the pulpit twice. Uh, we we're trying to schedule this meeting February 26th after the morning service. And what it's about, there is a young man who is a photographer. And he's doing uh, some kind of historical work where he wants to take pictures of our senior elder church women, amen, in black and white. And so we'll schedule a Sunday, you can wear your hats and your, 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 your Sunday go to meet and close, amen. amen. And uh, he'll take, he'll, he'll have a set up somewhere in the sanctuary where we'll take a picture. Um, we want to meet on the 26th, take a church boat to see if we indeed want to do that. Amen? Amen. 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 We do not have to do that. You don't want to. Amen. So we'll take a vote on the 26th. Praise the Lord. Again, the calendars are back there in the back. You'll see them. Um, listen, can we give God praise for Reverend Bobby Smith? Amen. Amen. Brother Reverend, we thank God for your gift of music. Yeah. Your gift of preaching yeah. and your gift of teaching. Yeah. And we know that God is, He has, He is, and He will continue to use you mightily. Yeah. Amen. So stay encouraged. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Just a little while longer. Just, just a little while longer. Yeah. And everything, everything will be all right.
Brother, brother, um, brother Harris, you repeat that announcement. I definitely will before uh, everyone comes down, before everything settles, after everything settles. Once again, family, the benevolence basket is for our dear pastor. Let's show him some love, y'all. Amen. 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 Amen.
Soon after boarding, Jennings was ordered to get off the horse car and told to wait for a car that served African American passengers. Mm. At that time, all public transportation in New York City was privately owned. Some omnibuses and some horse cars were had, had to display signs announcing colored persons allowed. Obviously, that means that uh, there was a song that said, not allowed. Mm. But these segregated vehicles were few and far between. Mm -hmm. New York City's black residents were expected to walk. So public transportation was, a, was rarely an available option. Jennings ignored the conductor's orders and resisted his attempts to remove her physically. Finally, with the aid of a policeman, he successfully forced her off the, this horse car. The conductor undertook to get her off, first alleging the car was full. When that was shown to be false, he pretended the other passengers were displeased by her presence. But when she resisted on her rights, he took hold of her by force to expel her, and she resisted. The conductor got her down on the platform, jammed her body, uh, excuse me, her bonnet, soiled her dress, and injured her physically, her person. Quite a crowd had gathered, but she effectively resisted. Finally, after the car had gone on further, with the aid of a policeman, they successfully, they succeeded in moving her. This is uh, according to the New York Times, excuse me, the New York Tribune in February of 1855. The black community was enraged, and the day after the incident, they held a rally at Jennings Church. Just as Rosa Parks would would be a center later, uh, would a century later, Jennings took her case to court. She sued the driver, the conductor, and the Third Avenue Railway. Remarkably, Jennings was represented by a 24-year-old lawyer by the name of Chester A. Arthur. Then, just a junior partner of the, the law firm Culver, Parker, and Arthur, he later became the 21st president of the United States of America. In 1855, Judge Rockwell of the Brooklyn Circuit Court ruled, colored persons, if sober, well-behaved, and free of disease, have the same rights as others, they could neither be excluded by the rules of the country, nor by force or by violence. Jennings won her suit and was awarded damages. I hate to say it now, but the only word that I have is hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is your black history. Amen. 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 Together as one panel, right. striving for civil rights, that's striving right, that's to right. gain uh, yeah. justice uh, in this great country. Amen. 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 This time we will call uh, Sister Reverend for prayer. Sister Reverend will lead us in our altar call prayer. It's prayer time. Amen. Um, those who want to come to the altar, you can come to the altar at this time if you'd like. You don't have to. If you want to stand in the pew, you can stand in the pew. 
You do not have to stand. If you want to sit, you can sit. But we ask you to do so at this time, whichever one you choose. and prayer for Giselle. I like prayer for my son and his family. I like prayer for your mother and your Thank family. You. Thank you. I like prayer for my church family. I like prayer for myself. And I have a gentleman that attends the senior center that I go to. He's been traveling back and forth from Pittsburgh to Arkansas. Arkansas mm -hmm. is where he is originally there. He has a 32-year-old daughter who's been sick in the hospital with Blue lupus Hinders. and cancer. Blue They're Hinders. talking of bone marrow as soon as they can find someone that has the same, you know, I guess bone marrow or whatever she has. I don't know if any of her children, because they're still kind of young. But would you pray for Leo Montgomery Leo for his daughter? Because he, he, he's just not himself. He's trying. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. You know, you can go there and be by her bedside. She's in like a some semi coma. And she's going through a whole lot along with the lupus and the cancer. It's just too much. Too much. Yeah, yeah. Another. I'd like a prayer for the slaughter family. Slaughter family. We've lost Amen. a loved one. Amen. Christ Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. And the family was so large, they had to have it at Mount Everest. Lord have mercy. Church. Is he is that, is that the slaughter who's the funeral director? I don't know. No, okay, okay. Okay, the slaughter family. Do we have another? No, this, he's, he was uh, 92 years old. Okay, okay. Do we have another? The father in Turkey passed. People in Turkey and Syria. Yeah. Do we have another? I would like to pray for our God to say. Hold on, uh, go ahead, Sister Mom. Myself that almost took me out. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And God said, no one is not your God. Amen. Amen. And I just wanted to uh, just say that I love you, Lord. Amen. I want to ask prayer for my children, my grandchildren, for your family, for the church family as a whole, yes. and for all the churches. Yes. yes. I want to ask for the incarcerated, the sick, and the shut in yeah. this world. Yeah. This world. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, Pastor, I'd like to uh, pray for all God's people and uh, pray for my marriage. Amen. 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 Listen, let's be in prayer for our government, yeah. federal, state, and local. Let's be in prayer for our military. Intelligence people, first responders at home, mm -hmm. abroad, yes. U.S. territories, our indigenous people. Mm -hmm. Sister Debbie said, let's be in prayer for those who have been affected by that great earthquake yes. over in Syria, yes. Turkey. I want to pray for our young black men yes. and uh, our young black sisters yes. who are in a self-destructive way. Let's be in prayer for them. Yes. Uh, so much that is in their sphere of reference tells them to destroy themselves, mm -hmm. destroy themselves, mm -hmm. from their music to what they read, yeah. to how they eat, wow. to the drugs they use, the alcohol yeah. they drink. Yeah. It all tells them to self-destruct. So let's be in prayer for them. Lord, I want to Because God, 
We hurt for them. We hurt for them, God. We hurt. Because we have this thing called the news and, and media, we have found out that our neighbors across the street, across the country, across the globe, are now in pain and struggling. There are people that are going through the anguish of trying to find their loved ones, their neighbors, their friends, through this, the, this earthquake that occurred previously this week. God, help them to be found. Help them to find them. And help them that are searching and waiting in the sidelines. God, God, touch those first responders. Yes, in, in this moment with an oak earthquake, um, uh, search and rescue or recover. But the other first responders, God, this is not the only travesty that's going on. This just might be one of the biggest, and I don't say the only biggest, because there is constantly things occurring. You have said so many times, you've written it in your holy scriptures, that nothing new has happened under the sun. And yet you said it, but it hurts fresh and new, even today. God, help them, help us. Help us all, as even as we are across and away from this circumstance, that, that we are called and requested to help in any way we can. God, help our government, yeah, all of our governments, not just the government that we at TCBC are sitting under, but the other neighboring governments. Because governments were installed and they were filled with humans. And as we are all humans, God, you are still our sovereign and our king of kings. God, touch us all. Touch us all that we just have your sweet Holy Spirit in us, but those that do not, prick them so they can know you better, to serve you better. God, not just in government, but out of government. Not just in military, but out of military. Not just those that are with them without homes, but all unsaved. All that are unknowing of you intimately. And God, touch those that are seeking you. They are seeking you because they're grieving, not just for the travesties, but for the tragedies that are personal to them. There are those that are grieving because their loved ones are sick. They can't see them, like such as cancer patients. Cancer patients are in the hospital, going through therapies, and they must dedicate that time. Their doctors and nurses, God, have, have to dedicate their time, and, and they're in need of you and your instruction, your guiding hand. Yes, they are all taught. But you, God, are our way maker. God, allow us to lean on you, our rock and our way maker, yeah. as we struggle through the times, young and old. God, make a way for us to see your way over our way. Your path over our path, God. Pour into those that are serving you in the 
in the way that you have called them to serve you. But God, let those listen and receive such services, such, such ministrations, such touching, healing hands that they are in need of. Be it because they're sick. Be it because they're just simply ailing from el elderly issues. Be it that they're struggling from personal issues, mental issues, physical issues. God, help us. Help us because there's so much going on. The positions have been laid upon the altar. And, and I don't have the ability to call out on each and every one of them. I can't call out on each and every name, God, because in the grand scheme of things, I, but you, have a book listing all the names that are of people that are in need of you, God. Some are ready and some are not. But God, allow us to pray for them. I pray for my brothers and my sisters to my right. And I pray for my brothers and my sisters to my left. As they pray where they sit and stand, including everyone in this church, everyone outside of this church. Because God, we seek you because we know you are capable. But let us, as we pray, remember to listen to you, God. That right now you are saying yes to some of our petitions. You're saying no to some of our, to some of our petitions. And then to other petitions that we have sent to, up to you, God, you have said, wait, the time is not right right now. God, let us be mindful in your decisions that your ways are better than ours. Your understanding is more profound than ours. God, let us remember to be humble and meek, even in our prayer, that when you say, thus says the Lord, that this must be, that this must happen, that we see and understand that your will and your way is better, that you are paving a way for what we are in need of and what we must walk through. Please, God, help us walk through that, God. We ask of this. We ask that whatever we pray on, that you can fix our prayers. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes our prayers are just not right. Sometimes our prayers are too bold. Sometimes our prayers are too meek. Sometimes we just don't know how to open our mouth and say anything. God, fix our prayers. Fill it up and make it right in your eyes and your sight. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. ask of this through your sweet son's name. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to lead me. Never to
another selection, a reselection, before our loving pastor, Dr. William Zachary, yes. comes forth with the word of God, Amen. that he studied, he dove deep, and prepared for us to learn from. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us turn in the Old Testament, the good Old Testament, to the book of Deuteronomy. All right. We're going to be reading just two scriptures from the 15th chapter. And I'll be reading for your hearing in the New King James Version. It's slightly different than the old. What chapter did you say? Chapter 15 of Deuteronomy. Okay. It's slightly different than the King James Version. It has taken off the these, thou's, thy's, and all the other hard inner words. But not the names. <laughs> so at Deuteronomy chapter 15, I will read for your hearing verses 1 and 2. When you have gotten the scripture or you are simply ready, please give me a cloud and clear amen. 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 And it reads, at the end of every seven years, you shall grant a release of debts. Amen. And this is the form of the release. Every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it. Mm -hmm. He shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother, because it is called the Lord's mm -hmm. release. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Uh -huh. At the end of every seven years, you shall grant a release of debts. And this is the form of the release. Every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it. He shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother. Because this is called the Lord's release. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. For a release. The Lord's release. Amen. Choir, please sing.
think of something to say before we have that word on our tongue. You already know all about it. So really, there's nothing to be said that you do not already know. And so we pray to you for power. That you would release an anointing in this atmosphere. that would break yokes. And as we celebrate Black History Month, that that anointing would break that which holds us in bondage. Because of your son Jesus, we are now free. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We are free. May this word stir up something within us that will cause us to contemplate on this word. And then judge whether it's truth or error. And then live accordingly. If it's truth, may we live it. If it's error, may we shine. And so now, God, with all of our weaknesses, give us eyes. Ears to hear this word. Mouths to speak this word. Hearts to feel this word. And minds to understand this word. That we might be able to minister and serve all of your people more faithful with the hopes that we minister and serve you more faithful. Speak, Lord Jesus, our Savior, please speak to us. Please, God. Yes. Speak to us, yes. Holy Spirit. Yes. Speak, Lord. Yes. Now, servants, Jesus, your only begotten Son, yes. whom we believe is the true God. We believe he's the Christ and the Messiah. Mm -hmm. and the soon coming King. Yes. We all form the voice say thank you. Chapter 18, 
starting at verse 23 through and including verse 35. Come on in the room. Come on. Sold 
together with his wife, children, and all his possessions, mm -hmm. and paid it to be made. Mm -hmm. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you And out of pity for him, somebody say pity. pity. Out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. Yes. Uh -huh. But that same slave, uh -huh. Lord have mercy, uh -huh. as he went out came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said to him, pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, have patience. And I will pay you back. Verse 10. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what was happening, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to the Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, you wicked slave. I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slaves? As I had mercy on you. Yes. And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured That's right. until he would pay his entire debt. Amen. Verse 35. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you. If you do not forgive your brother or sister from God. Get that boy, get that boy right now. Get that boy, get that boy. Get that boy, get that boy. 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 Get that to forgive. Uh -huh. Forgive me. To forgive me. February. Make it seem. February. 1986. The United States began officially to recognize Black History Month. And here we are, yeah. some 37 years later. later. Mm -hmm. In the year of our Lord, 2023. Yes. Celebrating the 37th official year of Black History Month. <laughs> Some people frown upon Black History Month. They feel it rehashes and opens old wounds. They feel that we shouldn't 
look back, but that we should look forward. Amen. But I'm reminded of a famous saying that says if you don't know where you come from, then you don't know where you're going. Amen. Black Americans have stood the test of time in this great nation, this exceptional nation called America. I'm not going to lie, but stoning the road, we have trod. Bitter. Yeah. The chastening. Felt in those days when all hope was lost. Uh -huh. But yet, with a steady yes, sir. beat, uh -huh. God bless our weary uh -huh. feet. Come to place for which our fathers died. Uh -huh. America needs black history. Because black folk, since we've come to this nation, have called on our other American brothers and sisters. To be faithful to the promises and benefits that the Constitution says this land has from. We as black folk have tried to allow the nation to be true to the preamble. Yes. Of the Declaration. Of independence. Yes. Yes. The Declaration of Independence, as one has said, is a check. One has said for many black Americans, this check has come back as non sufficient funds. Uh oh. But we as black folk believe. That that check is yet still a reality, not just for white folk, not just for black folk, but for Asian, Latino, yeah. hmm. Canadian, yeah. African, mm -hmm. Asian, all folk, it's for all folk, okay. who are citizens of this great exceptional nation.
in the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness. I believe that that preamble is a part of the gospel message. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That everybody has been created in the image of God and are therefore equal and therefore deserve the right to be treated with dignity. That they have been endowed by God the Creator with certain inalienable rights, that is to life, liberty, to pursue happiness. Yes. That's the purpose of the gospel. Mm -hmm. The gospel that St. Paul preached. Mm -hmm. That Christ has died for our sins. Yes. According mm -hmm. to the scriptures. That he was buried. Mm -hmm. That he rose again. On the third day, yeah. according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The gospel was meant to be the great equalizer. Mm -hmm. That's right. The gospel was meant to be the great equalizer. The gospel says that God doesn't care what ethnicity we are. That God doesn't care what race we are. That God does not care what gender, what economic, social, political background we have, or our sexual orientation. He does not care. All he is worried about is that we are equal in his sight. And that we all have dignity and that the gospel of Jesus Christ, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and rose again on the third day, that that great equalizer caused all of us to see everybody as brothers and sisters. We're all God's children. Because God has created us all. great equalizer of the gospel. And what the gospel says, the gospel says, we are forgiven. We are forgiven. Yes. That we no longer have to carry the burden of sin on our shoulders. Mm, yeah. Mm. Is that message of Christ come unto me, yeah. all ye that labor and are heavy burden, take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That message is for everybody. It's the great equalizer. Yeah, yeah. So if you're carrying a burden, this morning. Mm -hmm. Remember this song. I'm going to lay down mm -hmm. my burden down by the riverside. And I'll study more. No more. The problem is a lot of us Sing it. But it seems very few truly believe it and live it. I ain't saying nobody in here. I know y'all some good Christians are. The folk outside of town. <laughs> I know y'all some good Christians are. But we promise God 
that when he forgave us, we would study war no more. Yeah. Unforgiveness is part of the study of war. Unforgiveness is part of the study of war. Why do wars occur? Because something is said that cannot be forgiven according to the other. That's right. I'm not going to study war no more. We cannot be a people of unforgiveness. We have been forgiven so that we can then go and forgive others. That's right. That's the great release that God has released us of our debts and he calls us to release our debtors. Yeah, yeah. Calls us to release our debtors. Reverend Bobby, a relevant question at this point seems to fit the opportunity. Other than the acquittal of our sins from God, why else does God forgive us? He does forgive us for his name's sake. He forgives us for our sake. But he also forgives us for the sake of others. This parable, this is a parable. I don't believe this really happened because of the statistics in the parable. Mm -hmm. It's a parable. It's just a, a teaching that Jesus uses to bring forth a kingdom message. Right. It's an earthly example that brings forth a kingdom message. Right. Peter says, Lord, the NRSV says another member of the church yeah. says oh. against me. I don't agree with the NRSV. I believe a better translation is then Peter came to him, Jesus, and said, Lord, if another person, yeah. another person sins against me, that, that another person can mean a member in the church. Yeah. And a member who's not in the church. Yeah. If this person sins against me, okay. as many as seven times, seven. should I forgive them? Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, not seven times, mm -hmm. seven. but I tell you, 77 times. Oh boy. See, Peter had that Old Testament understanding of the Sabbath here. The Sister Reverend read in Deuteronomy chapter 15, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. It was in the seventh year yeah. that all debts would be canceled. Am I going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. All debts would be canceled. And so to the Hebrew, they thought that if they were sinned against over seven times, they had the right not to forgive. And Jesus says, no, not seven times, but 77 times. Okay. In other words, Jesus is saying, don't count 
up to seven and get to eight and then I forgive. But forgive from number one to number seven to number 14 to 100 to a thousand. Always forgive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always forgive. Always forgive. Yes. Now, don't, 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 don't get caught slipping. Forgiveness is not a weakness. If someone has hurt you bad, uh -huh. you can forgive them, but be smart about it. Amen. Don't put yourself in the position to allow them to do it over and over and over and over again. Yeah, same. You can forgive them without being in the position of having it done to you over and over and over again. Yeah. But forgive! Jesus gives us this parable and tells us why we must forgive. Yeah. There are four main characters in our text. We have the king, who represents God. We have the wicked servant, who represents us. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, it does. I ain't even know amen on that, did I? The wicked servant who sometimes represents us. Amen. The servant who owed the wicked servant, mm -hmm. who represents our sisters and brothers of the world. Yeah. And a group of servants who sees the unfair treatment, who represent the church. Watch the fragrance, the fragrance mm -hmm. of God's divine forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Fragrance, something that smells nice. Mm -hmm. It's a good odor. It's a pleasing odor. Forgiveness is a pleasing odor to God. Amen. It should be a pleasing odor to us. Mm -hmm. right. God forgives. God is the king in the scripture. Mm -hmm. The divine fragrance. King wants to set all counts with his servants. That servant is anyone for us. The servant owed 10,000 talents. 10,000 One talent was worth 20 years wages of a day labor. Wow. Wow. Say it again. One talent is worth 20 years worth of wages for a day labor. Wow. Mm. So that means that this servant owed 200,000 years worth of a day labor salary. Wow. It's an amount that can't be paid back. No one could ever repay this amount. No one who's in the position of this wicked servant could repay this amount back. It's a debt that cannot be paid. And all of us, at one point in our lives, we know God a sin debt that could not be paid. But Christ So what does he do? 
The king says, if you can't pay me, then I'm going to sell you, your wife, your children, and everything you have to give me a little bit of recourse off the deck. And the wicked servant asked the king for mercy. Come on, Adam. Mariah, one of Grandma Zachary's favorite prayers, and she'll say this anytime during the day. Yes. That if something hits her, she'll just say, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Simple prayer, simple little prayer that we all should know. Lord, have mercy. Life comes down on us hard. Lord, have mercy. Job is getting on our last nerve. Lord, have mercy. Folk want to treat you wrong. Lord, have mercy. Tired. Yes. Get angry sometimes. Thrown in prison to pay the debt. The 
fellow servants saw all this and reported this to the king. Yes, sir. We have the fragrance of God, divine judgment. The flagrant uh, abuse uh, of uh, the wicked servant. But lastly, uh, God uh, is a man is not a man uh, that he should fight.
Yes, Lord. Wondering. Pondering. Yes. Hallelujah. If this is correct. Wait, wait, wait. 
are all called to forgive others. Yes. Now don't, don't be a fool. Don't put yourselves in positions to be abused over and over again and claim you love somebody and you forgive them. No, that's not, that's not forgiveness. That's not love. That's stupidity. But you can love them and forgive them and not put yourself in the same abusive circumstance. Amen? Amen. But you can still forgive. And if they get right, maybe then you can reconcile that relationship to where you would have it to be, where they would love it to be. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let us stand.